righty. So today, Disney has made an announcement about a existing attraction being transitioned into a new attraction. So for those of you, or the few of you that don't know, uh, Splash Mountain at Disney World, and I believe Disneyland as well, is being transitioned into Princess and the Frog. And uh, from what I've been seeing online, a lot of people seem to be quite upset about this. Um, and I, because of that, I, I felt like I had to come out and make a video. So this is super last minute planned. I had not planned on making a video about this, but I've been seeing a lot of people's stories on Instagram and the Instagram community. And uh, people have been giving their two cents on whether they think this was a good decision or not. And unfortunately, and I use the word unfortunately, I've been seeing a lot of people saying that they're not in support of this change. And I felt like my team and I needed to sit down and we had a conversation about what was going on and why w what we saw in the Instagram community and online was so disappointing. And we came up with a pros and cons list uh, about the ride or attraction transitioning into Princess and the Frog. And it truly gets more upsetting when you write down the pros versus the cons because that cons list is going to end up being significantly smaller than the pros list and that's taking what's going on in the world out of the equation if you insert what's going on around and going on in the uh, the world right now it becomes even more upsetting um, and i say this because I've been very fortunate that my team and my friend group is extremely diverse. It's helped educate myself on situations like this. It's opened my eyes to the privilege that I have and a lot of us have. And it's allowed me to understand that myself and anyone under my ethnicity, we don't really have a place to be speaking on this matter. We don't have the ability to understand the deeper meaning of what's going on here and why Splash Mountain ultimately isn't okay. And unfortunately, it seems to be a lot of us or a lot of my group of people in the community that are speaking up about this. And it's just not okay. Uh, it's, it's a really difficult conversation to have, but until you've experienced what it's like to walk down the street and have people judge you before they even get to know you, until you walk down the street and a specific car with sirens on it drives by and you are afraid when you're doing nothing wrong, you don't have an ability to speak on this until, you know, you've gone through history of being outcasted and put through the, the horrible things that you've been put through you don't have the ability to understand and speak on something like this. When something has even the slightest ties to what could be a, a, an ongoing issue going on in the world right now, it shouldn't exist, especially with a brand like Disney. Disney is a company that has always tried to put their best foot forward. And I really appreciate what they're doing with this this situation right now. And I really appreciate that they quickly reacted and that they're going to change this. And unless you've experienced that, you don't really have the, the opportunity or the privilege to decide whether that's okay or not. And I get that a lot of us sometimes don't realize that um, before we open our mouth. And that's totally okay too. I'm not here criticizing anyone that spoke out today. It is, it's shocking news when an attraction that you loved and grew up with and have known for so long is suddenly transitioning into something else. It's shocking. And that's okay. You're allowed to feel upset. You're allowed to be a little shocked. You have no right to be angry. And you have no right to go out there and publicly denounce this. You can be upset. Take a couple days, digest it. But I would welcome you to get educated on any of the information, um, why this is happening, why it's a good thing, and hopefully my pros and cons list helps even a little bit um, encourage you to understand the matter a little more. Again, I am also um, very privileged. Unfortunately, I'm going to use the word, I'm, I'm unfortunately privileged, 
And I also sometimes need to be educated a little more on issues. I too did not realize in my many years of going to Disney that this had ties or roots to something very negative in the world. And I too was shocked at first. And then luckily I have a very diverse group of friends that help educate me on matters like this. And uh, we came up with a pros and cons list. So the cons list of Splash Mountain transitioning into Princess and the Frog was the ride will be closed for X amount of years um, for its renovation. Beloved Disney classic. So it's sentimental to a lot of people. Yeah, that, that applied to me. And the Frontier Town theming. Does it fit into Frontier Town theming now that it's transitioning into Princess and the Frog? The obvious answer, the obvious answer is no, it, it doesn't. But ultimately, again... These three reasons, and I know you can probably come up with more reasons, but these are the three that we focused on because this is what we've been seeing online. These are pretty selfish reasons considering the aspect of this ride, considering its roots, the song, what it's connected to. Those are really selfish reasons. Yeah, it's sentimental. Sure, it's going to be closed down for a bit. And yeah, it doesn't fit in theming-wise. But when it's compared to why it should be transitioning... Come on, you have to admit that's pretty selfish. A little bit. The pros? It's different times now. And as times change, companies and entities need to change with them. We see this all the time. This isn't the first. Disney's not the first. This happens a lot of the times. Other companies like popular coffee chains, clothing brands, internet, social media influencers, they all change as times change. They come out, they apologize for actions that they did as you know, young teenagers or or kids, and you change, you change with the times. And that's okay, too. That shows you're learning, you're educating yourself, and you have the ability to apologize for a mistake and, and move on. Better representation of diversity under the Disney brand. This is a more diverse product than Splash Mountain. You know, they have a, a, a princess and the frog, which was one of the first steps, I believe, outside of Pocahontas, of them diversifying their princesses. So this is great for a lot of kids and families out there. This is really great. Unfortunately, oh, ultimately, Princess and the Frog um, has a much better storyline and more potential for a better family-friendly experience. You have the really dark villain, and you have the beautiful storyline and the animals, like the alligator with the music. Like, there's a huge potential for a great storyline on this attraction, and I look forward to that. And I think it's gonna be really beautiful what they do with this ride. I, I really do look forward to it a lot. So a new storyline and theming could lead to a higher ridership as more people want to re-experience it. I know I'll be one of those. I, I'm gonna to wanna to go check this out. It also allows Disney to operate the rides, upgrade the ride systems and animatronics for a better ride experience. That's a simple one. That makes a lot of sense. You can upgrade the uh, the ride uh, computer system, the ride animatronics for a more beautiful, streamlined uh, service, which will also up ridership and the experience for families. As Disney has stated, uh, they've been trying to diversify their Disney princesses and doing so their attractions, and this will help boost. Uh, their attendance and diversify their clientele. You know, it shows, hey, you don't have to be our old stereotype of princess. We have not all princesses of all walks of life now at Disney. This is great. This includes everyone, and it's only going to get better. As you saw with Frozen there, you know, they could potentially be diversifying their princess portfolio even more based off of rumors. But that aside, again, the pros versus cons does kind of show a trend of... Um, being a little selfish, being a little bit unaware of the greater issue versus the selfish kind of aspect of why you want this attraction to stay. I think it's amazing. I know I will visit with an upgrade to Splash Mountain, and I loved Splash Mountain. I remember when me and my best friend, we went to Disney World for the first time. I remember it. We ran to Splash Mountain. It was the first attraction I wanted to do because I watched that ride on YouTube so many times I watched it and the minute I went to Disney World it was the first thing I had to do and I wasn't let down it was amazing and I remember the ride broke down our first visit there and we had a dinner reservation and Disney was so fantastic Uh, we got escorted off the ride um, evac and we missed our dinner reservation I remember they took us behind the scenes to the restaurant and made sure we still had our 
our dinner reservation. It was just such an awesome experience. Obviously, we wrote it later on in our trip, and I, it was amazing. But I, I totally understand the need uh, for change, and hopefully this video in any way, shape, or form, even a percentage-wise or a fraction-wise, has helped you maybe understand the issue a little better, and hopefully maybe you can go have a conversation with someone and help you know understand why things like this need to change and you know times are changing things are, are are slowly starting to get better hopefully um and yeah i i i hope this video in any way shape or form has helped in any way i know this sounds so tacky coming from me but i really wanted to get this video out there thank you so much for taking the 11 to 12 minutes to listen to me um, and my perspective on this issue. And yeah, I hope you guys have a really good week and hopefully you're staying safe. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks so much for listening. Have a good one, guys. Bye.